Hello everyone, welcome back to another 18715 programming tutorial. This tutorial, we're going to teach you how to set up a configuration on your driver's station and then we will begin and finally start our coding. Let's get into it. Let's go. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I have a control hub and a battery here and it's just plugged in to give it power so that our control hub is emitting a Wi-Fi and then I have my phone right here. So if you guys don't know how to set this up, I'll link a, um, a video of somewhere up top and it'll bring you to a video on how to do this. So let's get started. So what you wanna do is click these three dots up here. So click the three dots and then configure robot. So I'm gonna click new to make a new configuration. And if your thing or if control hub or expansion hub doesn't pop up, then click the scan button and it'll probably pop up. Make sure everything is powered and everything is connected properly. So now I'm gonna click control hub portal, control hub. And now here's a list of everything that you can possibly plug into your control. Hub. For this example, we're gonna test some motors. So I'm gonna go motors. And then um, for this example, we're using go build a, uh, this one. And I'm gonna type, uh, let's just type it as motor. And then make sure you click done, 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 done. And the most important thing is you click save. So I'm gonna name this as a tutorial. Click okay. And here we go. So now we have our configuration. So now if you have multiple configurations, make sure you activate the one you want. And now if we go back, if you look um, right here, so if you look at my mouse, it's gonna say the configuration right here. So as you can see, we're in the right configuration in tutorial. So if we click our teleop and autonomous, okay, so all that code is there, but we're not gonna worry about that because this is in a different configuration. So now I'm gonna be showing you how to code your own um, op mode. So let's get started. So in, uh, I'm gonna link another video and that's gonna bring you to um, these pages where you're gonna download Android Studio and this GitHub. So the first thing you wanna do is, this is the, um, the latest GitHub for PowerPlay. So I'm gonna go here and download the zip file. Okay, so it finished installing and I just used WinRAR to extract it. It's just a free um, like software. I can put it in the link in the description. So now you wanna find your thing and click here. So now uh, a good sign is when you see this little Android thing. So that's a really good sign. So now I'm gonna open this project, click okay. Uh, I'm just gonna click new win. Actually, I'll just place this one, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so now what you wanna do is, it's gonna take a little bit of a while, maybe like two to five minutes, depending how fast your computer is to build all these files. So you're just gonna wait until everything's finished and hopefully, if you don't see the green Android, then you probably installed a different file. So make sure you install the correct file and zip it properly, unzip it properly. And Okay, so I ran into an error while I was building everything. So this is a good thing that I want to show you guys. So um, you're going to run into a lot of errors and I need you guys to be able to um, debug everything. And if you can get into that mindset, you'll be very successful throughout the season. So obviously this is saying something about unrecognized Android Studio and please retry. So in this case, the error is pretty simple because it's telling you what to do. I just have to click this update button and update everything. So then when I finish updating all the, um, my Android Studio, everything should be working and I'll get back to you after that. So here we have finished installing everything and all I did was just make a Java class. If I do right here, click new and Java class. And then uh, here, I'll go back so that you guys can see the process. So the first thing I did was I just did extend op mode. And then I imported, um, uh, it extends with an S, sorry. And then I imported the, imported the class, which is just impl implementing the library. And then we're gonna impl implement, sorry, I can't speak English, these methods. So you're wondering what these methods do. So on your robot or your, when you turn on an op mode, there's two parts. You have to initiate it and then when you click the start button, it's gonna loop whatever you put in this code. So when you, uh, let's say you wanna drive when you start the thing, you put your drive code here so that it will loop, 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 okay. So now we're gonna get started. So the first thing that we want to do is earlier in the tutorial, we 
went into the configuration and made a motor. So we're going to call DC motor motor. And now we just have to do the import class. Okay, now here we go. So then we're gonna go into this init button. And what I want to do first, before we even start coding motors is I want to get you guys used to telemetry. So if we do um, telemetry dot add data, and I just want to say um, initialization, and then we're going to do comma, and then another notation, just say is a success. Oh, I cannot spell at all. It's okay. You can leave it at that. <laughs> it's okay. And then another thing, once you do that, we're gonna do telemetry.update. So what these two lines of code do is they're gonna send these um uh this text towards the phone, and then once that happens, it's going to update it. So basically we're gonna see this text initialization is a success on our phone. Control hub. And then what we want to do is this is a USB-C cable. So we're going to plug that into the USB-C port. And then we're going to take this cable and plug this into our computer. So now if we go back to Android Studio. Okay, so once I plugged in the control hub to my computer through the USB-C port, we have the Rev Robotic Control Hub. So now we want to select that and now everything's good so now what we want to do is how are we going to be able to test our things so what we want to do is we're going to at teleop and then we're going to give it a name so i'm just going to name this uh, tutorial and once we do that everything is good so it should automatically import the library teleop and let's check everything yeah so now what we want to do is this is all good so let's run the code so just click the run button okay so our code finished running and as you can see we're able to access our um, op mode we just made so here we go so to access autonomous mode you click the left button and access tally up you click the right button so we found our tutorial and if we click the init button it should say initialization is a success and there we go initialization is a success and we didn't code anything in the start button so if we click the start button nothing should really happen which is exactly what happens so that is how we set up our telemetry so you can get more advanced and work and i, I recommend to really understand your telemetry because it is a very useful debugging tool to figure out because the loops can get very complicated later on in coding so it's very important that you understand how to use your telemetry so let's mess with this a bit more so if we go over here into our loop and let's just type something let's just say instead of telemetry to update here let's remove this and let's place this into here let's just do telemetry to update actually add data and then let's just say uh we can just say uh ftc first okay just anything and now let's run this code and see what happens if when we run this code let's just see what happens okay so the uh code is finished running so let's go back here and let's go to our tele tutorial in it oh wow still works everything still works so this proves that telemetry.update doesn't have to happen for it to actually print out values so this is where we have to start experimenting and really understanding the properties of telemetry and understanding how this will work so one more thing that i want to set up is so let's go back here um if i bring this here and i bring this here all right so now what i want to do since it's a loop let's just see uh if i click uh if gamepad one dot a is oh do this this uh then telemetry dot add data dumbo and I'm gonna put the telemetry to update in here. 
so this is just i'm just messing around with this and if you're wondering what gamepad.a is so i mentioned this in a previous video about these logitech controllers that come with it so i'll be explaining this after i run the code so let me show you let me first run the code and then show you how this works so let's run the code and then i'll show you how this works okay so the launch succeeded so let's bring it back to here so if i go to tutorial so another thing i want to point out is oh shoot how do i do this what happens is the ftc first and the initialization of success is always staying on the screen however only when i click the a button on this controller and i think you can kind of see it but it's pretty hard to see but only when the a button is being held or is being pressed will the thing appear otherwise it will disappear so let me try to show you go so every time i click the a button it will appear but if i don't okay guys so that was how to um get all your op mode basically set up and starting to work with telemetry so in the next video i'm going to be showing you guys how you guys are going to be able to work and code with motors and i'll show you guys how to do that in the next video so until next time peace Whoa!